the 60s with guys named Barry Switzer and Jimmy Johnson. While those guys went on to college and pro fame, Howard remained in Edmond, Oklahoma. Greg Kerr with more. You got to be able to gain ground out there. So the beat goes on for UCO's Gary Howard. Another two-a-day practice, another day of punching the clock. Now even back to the earliest days of video here at Channel 9, there was Howard coaching football and celebrating a national title in 1982. 33 years at UCO, and Howard keeps on keeping on. Been the you know, head coach 23 years, so you know I'm used to the place now. <laughs> Here we go, ready. Howard, a hands-on, straight-shooting, lunch-pail-carrying kind of coach. I like it. Old school. He's hard. He's tough. Come on, tight end. You got to make, make the block. I like his mentality. Nose to his number. I mean, if you don't play his way, you're gone. That's how it is. Come on, that drive. Good drive. There you go. go. There you go. go. There you go. To keep that edge, Howard loves his cups of coffee, and no one close to the Bronco football program has ever questioned the coach's desire to keep coming back to work. Oh, I just think he just loves the game. I mean, I think he just loves coming out here. Just enjoy, he, he enjoys the game a whole lot. Gary Howard's still coaching after all these years, and you get the feeling Coach Howard still has a few seasons left in him. In Edmond, Greg Kerr, News 9 Sports. The Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony.